Right, today's video, we have got a short shifter we're going to be fitting from Creation Motorsports and some new shifter bushings from Bartek. So these will hopefully reduce the slack in the gear stick. I'll show you exactly what it looks like currently because there's a lot of play changing gear and even in gear. Um, and then these will replace the rubber, the rubber um, sort of ones in the mounts. And there's a lot of play in that. And then this will shorten the throw, hopefully. With first gear, it's actually quite, quite far distance, sort of right into the top left. And hopefully with the short shifter, we're going to reduce that distance forward. And then again, second, we're going to reduce that distance. So they'll be a little bit shorter, changing up and down gears. And then the bushes will reduce that play as well because it's just so wobbly. You just want to want it to be a bit tighter, a bit more precise. And yeah, it will just make that driving experience so much better. Now for this job, we've got to take out the, um, the air feed, uh, battery, and I'm going to have to take this out as well. Because what we need to get to is underneath behind here for the linkages. Right, so cold air feed, lifted the pipe up here and then taken that out. And then here, this one just pops off that. And then this is just a 10mm I've unscrewed. And then I'll take that off. Yeah, so for the actual battery cover itself, there's three little clips that you just have to sort of lift up. And then it pulls off one on this side, one here, and then one on that corner there. So that's now loose. For this part here at the side of the battery plastic case, it was easiest to undo that 25mm screw, then that's literally just loose. There is a 13mm um, bolt here with a little cover. I've already taken that off. I can essentially just lift the battery out now. There we go. Right, so for the bottom part of the battery case, 13mm here, 13mm here, and then it loosened it, but there's one here as well in the middle. That's all the access we need now. So yeah, air filter, heat shield, battery, and then the bottom of the battery cover. And yeah, we can get to what we need to now. These are the two bushes here and here that have little rubber ones on there. So we've got to loosen these. And then this is that we're gonna be replacing with like the short shifter. Yes, yeah, so essentially it's pushing this forward and down and pushing it down about halfway. And then we, with the other hand, this we've used our left hand and then push this pin inwards. And now it's, upwards so the pins now in this is not moving anywhere this is locked there you go and then turn that way and so for the short shifter there's a 13 mil bolt on here and then i've kept this in the lock position still and then sort of twisted it and lifted it off so i'm just releasing it off of here also another little thing just for argument's sake is if we put the original one on here you can see the amount of play that's in the original rubber bushing. There is so much free movement up and down and there's so much excess movement which is why it feels so sloppy. It's just the way they're designed. So by replacing these with the solid metal ones they're going to be absolutely rigid so that'll be a big improvement I think. Right, so a good little comparison here between the original one and the Croatian Motorsports one. This one comes with different adapters to basically match up to what's already on the car. One thing to note as well, mine is the 1.4 TDI. The, um, the rubber bushes that go onto here and to here, on the GTI, on the 903 GTI, on car and engineering's video, there are two different sizes and I'll show you the two different sizes of the bushes but as far as I can see on mine these are both exactly the same size and then the two sets of bushes are meant to be for the 1.8 GTI which are two different sizes now this one one of these would normally be smaller but essentially I need two lots of these um, instead of this now I am thinking with the adapters that come for this to match this one I could use exactly the same one and use the bigger one or it does come with a slightly thinner one which means I could put that on here and then use the smaller ones I still will have to drill this out slightly to get them to go on but I think that is the best option 
instead of using the bigger adapter I would then have to drill these out a little bit more to match these. So just a difference between the GTI and then the TDI models is the bushing sizes are different. Another thing with this is this amount of movement apparently is what affects the throw and how much distance there is so the closer to this the shorter the throw will be so another little thing I've done is test fitting the bush onto here there's this small little tab here if it can focus right on the top here we go this little tab right on the top which sits up quite a lot which was originally actually stopping this from going on so I've just filed it a tiny tiny amount so then this can just slot on over the top like that. It's quite tight, but it goes on. So these will be perfect for this one. So I'm gonna modify these ones to then fit the slightly shorter adapter, which I will then put onto, put onto there instead of the thicker one. So that's the plan for that. Right, so they've both been drilled out now and they fit perfectly, which is fantastic. So they'll go on like that. The next job is to cut the old rubber bushes out and then we can put these into here and super glue on the aluminium. So they'll stay together inside here. So we're just gonna cut these old ones out with a Stanley knife. Right, so we've cut the bushing and the rubber part out of here. So now it will just be a case of putting these putting these in and they just slot in quite nicely actually right against the edge and then glue in there do the same on that side and then that's how both of them are going to be so, yeah. right so for test fitting this there is a very specific groove on this here where my finger is that's not like a tooth it's like two teeth wide or like a flat bit that has to go into the exact same slot on here to line up this is now tightened and it's closer to this so in the short throw position this has to then be in here so you sort of lift this back down this is wedged in the gap here and then I've got that to tighten up right so putting it back together first step put this back on this is done up but only hand tightened these have then, well, gearbox is still locked as well. That pin is still in the upright position, so don't unlock anything. This is back in here. These are now on, but I haven't released the springs yet, so the springs are still down. I've only put them on loosely because I'll show you in the cabin. We have to reset the, the neutral position using a little pin first before we release the springs and then before we release the pin here to release the, um, the gearbox, essentially. So it's just putting everything in position first to make sure everything's right and then obviously I've got to put the clips back on as well this clip is now on to combat the problem of this clip we've had to put a retaining pin through the actual end of the plastic like an M2 one with a nut on the end drilled through the actual end of the plastic so it still has a little bit of movement but there's no way it can come off now that's much better than anything like a cable tie because obviously this is this cannot really come off otherwise it'll be it'll be a disaster so we're going to hop in the cabin now and show you how to center it back into neutral into the right position right so in the cabin now we've lifted this off out of the way because what we need to do there's what i've used you can either use a five mil sort of um pin essentially there's a hole here and you have to line it up with this hole underneath so it sort of sits in the right position it says in the Haynes manual that it will then be in the right position so when you're in neutral it will essentially be in the middle between third and fourth in the right place so I've just used the screw essentially as the same job push that all the way in nice and firm there's a tiny bit of play in it but it's essentially it's now re-centered where it needs to be so now that that's done we'll leave that in there go back in the engine bay and then release the springs on that on them so that they're done and then once it's all released then we can come back in here and remove this pin again
Right, so these are both now released. They're back on. Both springs are on. Clips are on, that's done. And then also you can now release this pin from the upright position, down, out and down. So now it's free to move about. So now that that's done, we can go back in the cabin and remove, remove that screw. There we go, right. That's still intact, so now that's released. Yeah, so now everything's under here is pretty much done. So it's just a case of putting this back on. Three M, uh, 13 mil screws. There and there, then battery on, battery cover. Um, and then yeah, and the air filter. And that is essentially it. Connect the battery up and then we can take it for a test drive. Right, so everything has been reinstalled now. So the bottom of the battery tray, then the battery, and then the cover and the air feed, and then the heat shield and the air filter. All the sensors are done up, everything's done back up, battery's on, battery's connected, everything's done up. So got those to sort out as well. Right, so now we can give you a little bit of a demonstration with this. First is a lot shorter. First used to be all the way out here and you felt like you were stretching too far like off the seat slightly. That's kind of quite nice. Second, there's still a little bit of play in the gear, but it's actually not not as bad as it was. That's quite um quite taut. Second, third, straight up. Now that feels quite good. It feels actually quite sort of bang. Much more precise. So that's with the shortest throw possible with the Creation Motorsports short shifter installed and also the new bushes, the, uh, the metal bushes for those. So that's both bits installed. I actually think that's actually made a good good difference. See, this is in first gear, so it's almost level just about here where the edge of the plastic meets in first gear, neutral, and then down into second. Comes back quite a long way. Sort of past, sort of in line with the top of this seat, the top of the bolster, up in the first. So it comes down to sort of about here. So that's a good, that's a good distance reduced. And then it's down a second, it went to the top of this bolster, which it nearly is to be honest. It's about a finger or two, finger or two width down. That's actually reduced it a fair amount. Originally I was thinking about getting a Cooler Works short shifter instead, but as a daily car, it's just something to improve what it was previously, which is actually quite good.